Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the titlate.com. Today I would be showing you how to use CSP functionality into your PHP scripts. Guys, if you will uh, ever work for a business client, I believe 90% of them will ask you to integrate CSV files into your PHP script so that they can use a CSV file to upload the data to the MySQL database or they can you know get the data from a database and uh, export it to a CSV file so that's what I'm gonna show you today so very first uh, I have a folder out here with the name of CSV and I have created a dummy CSV file with the name of a.csv and the next thing we would be doing we would be creating a PHP file to write our PHP script inside it okay I'm gonna open it with my text editor and with just normal PHP tags on the top and here on the bottom I'm gonna open the HTML tags guys here first we need a form from where we can actually upload the CSV file so I'm gonna create a form method would be post action would be to this particular file itself and one more thing we need that would be the ENC uh, type without this you cannot upload any files to your server so you always need it while dealing with uh, image uploads or file uploads and this needs to be equal to multi-part form data so this way your form is compatible to upload any kind of files next thing would be to create uh, input section that would be the type would be equal to file name would be equal to file value would be nothing then I'm gonna give a break tag and uh, actual submit button name would be submit and give this a value of submit as well okay this is what we have so go ahead and launch this particular file and let's see what happens so I'm gonna say localhost from here I'm gonna browse the folder CSV okay here we have now we can actually upload files from this particular input tab <clears throat> next thing we have to do is we have to write the PHP in order to recognize the file which has been uploaded and then use the data which is written inside this particular CSV file and send it to a MySQL database so very first we're gonna set up a database for that I'm gonna name it to CSV as well here we will create a table let's name it to test with four fields and we can have an ID field then we can have name or we can have email uh, let's say first name last name and email okay like this so first name then I'm gonna have last name and the email they all would be war char let's say name 200 <clears throat> last name 200 and the email 250 our ID would be an auto incremented and a primary key so auto increment and a primary key we can finally save this particular table so we have a database with the name of CSV and we have a table named test so right now we won't be writing anything out here we will write to this particular file we will upload it and that file will automatically transfer the data to our database so you can imagine if you have 20,000 customers already on your CSV file and you want to import them to your database so you don't have to do manual entries you can just upload one file and everything would be done in a flick of seconds so what we need is to build a connection with this database I'm gonna say dot account would be equal to MySQL connect this is the <clears throat> MySQL function to connect to any database so I'm gonna say my host is localhost <clears throat> my user is root and I don't have any password because it's on my local server or die if you're not able to connect just give us a MySQL error but I'm gonna say MySQL select DB and the database is CSV and use the connection which was uh, connected like the connection we build above use that connection <clears throat> next thing is we have to uh, take the file name from here the actual file path in order to know from where the file is coming and that is really really easy guys so what I'm gonna so do is if is set dollar post submit that means if the person is hitting the submit button 
then go ahead and create a variable and put that variable equal to dollar files the name of this field that is file that what I'm gonna put out here and the temporary name of the file because anytime guys you will upload a file it will be uploaded with a temporary name and that uh, temporary name would be equal to the actual path of the file so don't worry I'm just gonna show you right now echo dollar file so we're gonna upload a file and see uh, the name we will get the name of the file so first I wanna refresh it okay so for now upload this particular image hit submit it says etam ewwwtampp 5 e 9temp so this is the actual part of the file right now so what we need to do is we don't have to echo it out we have to use this particular path in order to uh, upload the data to our csv file so i'm going to say if uh, if gets no that would be if if get c csv i believe so i'm not sure yeah if, if get csv dollar file and after dollar file we need to have numbers i'm, I'm gonna explain it to you guys just give me a second let me, let me write, write the entire line that would be the delimiter is not equal to false Okay, everything seems pretty good. Here we can create uh, a file, oh, something like this. Okay, guys, so very first, once we got the temporary name, we need to open this file. So how we can do it, I can create a handle for that. So I'm going to say a variable handle that would be equal to f open. This is a PHP function if you guys are not sure about all these uh, PHP file functions, I recommend you to go to php.net and read it from there. So which file to open? That would be the file we uploaded, that is in this particular variable, dollar file, and open it in a read mode, okay? Open the file in the read mode, and here I'm gonna say dollar handle, actually. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm saying is once you are able to open that file go ahead and get the data from the csv file this is the php function again this will uh, help you getting the data from the csv file <clears throat> so which data to get the file which we opened earlier get data from that file and read uh, maximum 100 digits or i would say 100 letters from one line and break every cell with a comma so let's come here uh, let me say name to name last name to last name email to email okay these three things we have so what it what it gonna do if this particular field would be more than thousand characters or letters it, it is not gonna read it because we only give thousand out here but I can I'm pretty sure not even a single field can be more than thousand characters then we want every cell, so this is one cell, this is the second one. So we want every cell to be broken down with a comma, okay? And until and unless you are able to get the data in the same format, then follow the same, follow the, you know, functions we're going to write out here, otherwise you won't follow it. 